My biggest paying crowd. Yeah. Yeah, also the first, this is the first time I've charged for a show in 19 years. <laughs> Thank you for coming out to all those free comedy shows. But... Rogelio said I'm the man of the hour. That's not true. I, he only said that because I paid him to. He did. He did. He said that because I paid him. Life is easier when you pay people to like you. Aww. You guys, huh? it is, it is, it really is. I'm very happy because here in the canyon, feeling the breeze, I can see the lights. Did you guys think it was going to be this pretty right now? No, no huh? you thought it was going to be windy, like, oh, it's going to suck all night. My Mad Street barbecue is going to taste like tierra. <laughs> right? That's what you guys thought. They're like, ah, mija, it just, sounds, it just tastes like, like, like in the backyard, you know? The same. <laughs> well, I make, you know? You call me the man of the hour, but I'm not the man of the hour. You know who the men of the hour are? My shovels, Damien and Angel, man. These two guys right here. <laughs> Father's Day weekend, you know? Let me tell you a little something about these two guys, man. It was awesome. It was amazing being their dad. Not was, it still is. I know I still got a long way to go. I got bills to pay. They remind me every day. They're like, hey, dad, you can't just do nothing here. I wash dishes. How many dads wash dishes? Oh, yeah. All the other dads that don't wash dishes, what do you do? I got a dishwasher. Cabron. How dare you? Well, I have a dishwasher too, but I load it. Yeah, but you don't just load it. You got to make sure it's loaded, right? Right? Buy like nice tablets and all, you know? Don't need them. No cascade type pot challenges. Don't do that. My boys are awesome, man. Amazing, amazing relationship I've always had with my sons. And you need that. You need to have amazing relationships with your kids. How many of you have amazing relationships with your kids? How many of you brought them? How many of you left them with mom? That's being responsible, though, right? You be responsible for your kid. I will. I'm gonna take care of my kid. Hey, mom, watch him. Where you going, cabron? I'm going to the club. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm going to the club. All right. When you come back, don't be twerking. Oh, who got that? I want to twerk home. I am almost home. <laughs> Beautiful ladies, let me hear you. Woo! I know it's called the father's love, but hey, we don't forget the mother's love either. Yeah. Love plus all the moms. 
But that wasn't me. And you got flowers and you got Olive Garden and todo. The dads were like, hey. Hey, cabrón, do you want to go to the canyon for a comedy show? <laughs> the dads were like, sure, let's do it. How many dads here tonight? <laughs> oh, the moms are loud, huh? Happy Father's Day to all the moms, all the single moms who wear two caps. No se crean, no se crean, you had Mother's Day. You can't double dip. <laughs> Why are you always trying to double dip? It's Dad's Day now, you know. There's Dad's present, you know. Just because we don't pay child support, don't mean we don't love our kids. We love our kids, right, about those? Yeah. Uh, let us see them when they're not at your mom's. You know what? Some of the guys are like, "No way, let me see them when they're at her mom's, bro," because we don't get along. Her mom's a good referee. All the moms that are referees, give them a round of applause. All the dads that are referees, those are the tough ones, right? And it's tough, it's tough, it's tough being a parent. It really is, you know, especially a dad. I don't know what it's like to be a mom because I'm a stupid dad. It's been awesome being a stupid dad, you know. I've been a stupid dad all my life. Ever since I, I was like, what, what, mom, where's my mom at? Uh, there she is. I knew she'd be here. She's always everywhere. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. She's probably the reason. I knew it. She's the reason most of you are here. She should be doing this thing. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy being a dad. I was a young dad. Me and my wife, we moved in to our own apartment at 17 years old. Nice. You know, my mom said, yeah, that's right. Fuck, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh it's a children's show. I'm sorry. Uh, Family show. There won't be too many of those. Don't worry. And they're not even spelled the way you thought it sounded. <laughs> There's like ampersands and asterisks and stuff in place of the letters. <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> 17 years old. We moved, we moved out at 17 years old. I moved out. I don't know why my wife did it. I sucked at her into it. I don't know. Where's my wife at? That's how they're far apart. They're like, <laughs> now nah, they get a long beard. Now, I love you, Nancy. All right, mom, it's my show. Can you wait? <laughs> Settle down. Settle down, love. I love you too, mom. Aww. Like I said, this is a once in a lifetime show. Seventeen years old, I moved out of my house because I thought. That I was in love, which I was, but then I also thought I was smarter than my parents. Boy, was I stupid. <laughs> I was like, damn, you got to pay rent? What is this utilities thing? What is this? Is it like Batman's belt? <laughs> no. My kids were the awesomest dudes I ever met in my life. I mean, aside from Jesus Christ, of course, you know. That dude walked on water. Woo! My sons doggy paddled and they needed the floating. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then they'd be like, oh. Hey, Dad, the water's cold. Can we get out now? I'd be like, Yeah, it looks like you guys got all the quarters out of the well, bro. Like, hurry up, get out. Try up. We gotta get to Coinstar before they turn off the lights, fool. <laughs> we were young parents. We survived, though. We survived. We survived. Woo! We didn't know what we were doing. How many parents know what they're doing? That is the most honest answer I've ever had at a comedy show. Give yourselves a round of applause. Because no parent knows what the fuck we're doing, man. But what's the first thing parents know? They're like, Shh, no matter what I do, my kid hates me, man. 
Right? And then we think about it. Our kids are like, damn, no matter what I do, my dad hates me, man. It's like, no, mijo, I don't hate you. It's just that you're a pendejo, you know? <laughs> and then the kid looks at you. He's like, dad, I don't hate you. You just a fucking pendejo, wait. It's like, oh, we all know. We do know each other. And you think about it, what do the kids do? They get together. And then they're like, oh, man. My parents are such jerks, bro. Why, bro? Why are they such jerks? Because they don't let me go to the dance, bro. We'll call it the dance, you know, because that's every American cinema, right? You don't let me go to the dance. Why? Because I'm grounded. Oh, damn, bro. Why are you grounded? I'm grounded for being a jerk. And then what do they say to me? Oh, man, what jerks, bro? What jerks? That's what it boils down to, right? We're just being jerks, right? But we don't mean to be jerks. We love our kids, right? We'll do whatever we can, right? I've always been honest with my kids. Straight up. To this very day, my kids always do. I was Santa Claus, <laughs> the Easter Bunny, <laughs> the Tooth Fairy, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, even though you're right there with your player school here. <laughs> and the Kukui. <laughs> you need the Kukui in your life, man. Right? And then you go in there, and it's not easy being the kukui. It's not. You don't just go and instill fear under their pillows. Chale. You got to get under the bed. You got to shake those fools, you know what I mean? Shake them good, you know? The older you get, the harder it is. And my kids were already big over here. And it's, they were heavy. I pulled the shoulder, bro. Look at me. <laughs> After I was like, hi, hey, take a night. My why, fucker? Why? I was under your bed. <laughs> to shake you, bro. To shake you. Color las patas, bro. Scratch him not too hard. You don't need evidence. <laughs> and then the ladies, all the ladies looking at me. All quiet. All the other guys are laughing. You saw that? All the ladies look at me like, why would you do that? Don't you scare the babies? Why are you scaring my baby? And then, and then, and then, and then, chale. Chale. You thought it was a great idea when we were at Spirit Halloween. You thought it was great. Now you go back to that hallway. When I get under the bed, I better hear you coming down the hallway with that new wig you bought at Spirit Halloween, all wet and dangling in front of your face, screaming, ¿Dónde están mis hijos? <laughs> We're in this together. I don't know, I treated that you're running a cuckoo is a good couple, right? <laughs> Most of the we try to be a cuckoo, right? I've always been honest with my kids, always. Always. One time I gave them the advice, and I said, my dad gave me the same advice. I told me, when some stupid guy walks up to you, waving a bag of dope in front of your face, you make sure you tell him, no, thank you. My dad's got better shit at home. And it's organic, fool. <laughs> it's 2023, you know? It's not easy being a parent, you know? Your kids hate you. Why do your kids hate you? Why do you hate your kids? We don't. But we do. We hate what we don't understand, right? Hate comes from love. Oh, I love you so much, but you didn't give me what I want. 
You know, it's like, oh, mijo, I wanted you to really be a, like a lawyer and a teacher or 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 a judge or a cop or border patrol or PG garbage man, whatever way, like do something, bro. It's like, ah, oh, I'm a comedian. <laughs> It only took me 19 years to get here. And I had to pay for it all. No, a lot of plus for all the sponsors that helped us out. Oh my god, thank you so much. Without you, we couldn't put that light on in the back. That light was very expensive. We'd have more lights, but then we'd need more sponsors. People were like, why don't you go to the amphitheater? And I was like, cause it's money, <laughs> So we're going to do a BYOB party. Woo! In the middle of the canyon with the wind blowing. <laughs> so I can tell you that. These guys, man. Awesome guys. Awesome, awesome. You know? Talking about being jerks. They were never jerks, man. I mean, they were a couple, a few times. I was a jerk to them a couple few times too. You know, how many dads aren't jerks, right? I mean, it's not easy living this drunken El Paso life. One dad clapped. <laughs> He's not driving, I hope. All the ladies, all the ladies are like, oh, who is that? I'm gonna take that one home with me. It's not Teddy. It's a comedy show in McKelligan Ken. <laughs> well, like I said, it wasn't easy, right? Like, I messed up a lot. Like, I was from Central. Make sure all the people that clapped are in the spotlight and you know where they are at all times. <laughs> Check your rims and hubcaps. <laughs> I love Central, you know, and I, I brought my kids up in Central, you know. Central was different, though, you know. Central was different, like, there was no, like, cholos and, what are they called? Cagapalos, you know. <laughs> That's where I came in. You know, and I had a good family, you know. Most of the Cholos I knew, we had great families. Right, Cholos? Yeah. My homeboys. <laughs> A-N-G. <laughs> we did. We were here. We grew up in Central, and I raised my kids up in Central. And my kids are funny. They always say that they grew up tough. Because they grew up in the, in the streets of Sacramento, you know. Yeah. And when I hear them say that, like, everyone's like, orale, damn, dog. You just said to Dr. Dre, you said, Chris Hill, la chingada, homie, you the chaos. And then I'm behind them, and I'm like, hey, fool. It wasn't the streets of Sacramento, Sacramento. It was the block, bro. It was the 2800 block. <laughs> they never left this house or this house. <laughs> Beautiful growing up in Central. I love Central, man. Yeah, to this very day, I'm not gonna lie, Central, it changed me. To this very day, every time I hear a slow moving vehicle <laughs> playing loud music, plus my cello senses, they start tingling. You know? <laughs> Stupid ice cream man gets me every time. <laughs> But it was cool, you know, I made the ice cream man take off, and my kids, they would fucking psh, catch up to him. Stop, stop, it's me. Good kids, man. Yep. Amazing kids, man. My, my point is, I don't even know what my point is anymore. Did so much work setting this up. A round of applause to everybody that helped me. A round of applause to them sweating out here in the sun. And then the wind came and knocked all the tables over. And they, and they, let's do it again. 
they're awesome. They didn't even complain. They didn't even cry. I tried helping them. I told you. I tried helping them. They're like, move, fool. You're just tearing the tablecloth. And you just go study your set. And this is it. Hasn't been easy, right? It hasn't been easy. Like, nobody has an easy life, right? Who's had an easy life? Did you hear the cricket? He was like, fuck you, I did. <laughs> Born here, bro. That's timing right there. Nobody's had an easy life, and you don't, you never will. You don't know what's going to happen. So you got to keep on going around and just being a jerk, a hater. Nah. You know he's going to be a jerk. Who is it? You know you're probably going to be a jerk. And if you are, it's your fucking jerk, you know? Sometimes you have to be a jerk. Sometimes they think you are, but you don't know. You just live life. But live it. Do it. Don't be too much of a jerk. You know what I mean? You're a jerk. That should have been my theme song. You're a jerk. <laughs> nah, you know. Everyone just be cool to each other, you know. Especially with your kids, you know. If you don't have that amazing relationship. Like, I had an amazing relationship. And I use amazing because I think of Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Who here is Spider-Man fan? Nobody? I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, he's awesome, right? Like, oh, it doesn't say awesome Spider-Man. It's a spectacular. Eh, spectacular is a little weird. Like, yeah. But amazing Spider-Man. That's Tobey Maguire. <laughs> right? That's a real Spider-Man right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, now we grew up in the 80s, and they had this weird Spider-Man. That, no, no, we don't like that guy. <laughs> we waited till they had proper CGI, and Tobey Maguire is it, bro. <laughs> You know, 90s, 90s, 90s. Boosh. Amazing. You have to have that amazing relationship with your kids. You just have a good relationship. Make it great. If you have a great relationship, make it awesome. But if you have an awesome relationship, make it amazing. Because that's a relationship I had with my two boys, Damien and Angel, everybody. It was amazing all the way, everybody. Straight up. Straight up. And I say stop being a jerk, because I was a fucking jerk. You know? 23 years old, my boy's already 23 and 26 years old. Give them a round of applause for putting up with me. Yeah, they put up with me, man, you know? I didn't put up with them. I just kind of showed up. I was like, hey, wait, there you are. I need to put these beers in the fridge. You know? Spend time with your kids. Love your kids. If it's not going cool, make it cool. Then good, then you know. Do it in levels. Don't don't try to go from cool to amazing and one ching also. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Set up for They're gonna be like, what? W T F L M A O A F. That's what they're gonna say. You know? Like I had that amazing relationship with my kids. You know, like, like I could go up to them, like I love them so much, like, 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 like I can't even describe it. Like I just like, like, oh, I love you. You know, I'm a heavy metal fan. <laughs> so when I hear that, oh, I love you, fucker. <laughs> you are my people. Yeah, like Randy Savage, oh, it comes in, you know. I, I watch wrestling. My dad made me watch that shit. Glad he did. But that crunk is awesome because when you're, you love your kids so much that when you get mad, when you get mad because they don't listen to one simple little task you tell them to do, right? Big hole, clean poop. I realized this day my sons do not clean dog poop. They forget. And I let them. Because I, I love you so much, fucker. 
I'm not going to get mad at you because I'm the one who got the damn dog. This is works awesome, by the way, Sam Barlow. Thank you. It's like a pooper scooper. <laughs> you get mad, so mad at your kids, right? And you're still like, oh. You get mad, right? And they either look at you as hell. When you have that amazing relationship with your kids, when you have that amazing relationship when you grow like that, they look at you one of two ways. They're either going to be like, fuck. <laughs> or they're gonna be like, <laughs> no pasa nada, dad. <laughs> and then you look at their cute face, you're like, ah, 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 you look just like me and your mother combined. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you really want to know the relationship you have with your kids, grunt at them. <laughs> they might insult you. They might insult you, though. Be ready for it, you know? It's like when the Holy Spirit falls on you and you say something, so like, ah, and everyone looks at you like, dude, where the hell did that come from? And you're looking at them like, Jesus. They're going to look at you the same way. You know? Just take it in gradients. Do your kids? Why do kids hate us? Why? We're doing a therapy session for you guys. Right? This is what you pay $10 for. Kids hate us because we're in charge. Say, look. Say, look. See, here's the thing. Kids are in charge. Until, eh, hey, no me piques así. Estaba en Bucky County. It's a clean show, stop it. <laughs> Who do we mostly hate? Who's the one person you hate the most in your life? So be honest, be honest. Your, your boss. How many people here are employed? Okay. How many people here are self-employed? Don't you fucking hate yourself sometimes? <laughs> I know I do. I know my wife hates me. She's like, really, fucker? 250 chip. <laughs> hit your boss. Why do you hit your boss? Because he's in charge. She's in charge. They don't let you do what you really want to do. You know, they walk in on you and they're like, hey, Martinez, um, did you already get those reports in? Yeah, man, um, I'm almost done. Like, give me like another hour and a half. <laughs> they're doing lunch. Well, my lunch is at 2 p.m., bro. So I get here at 10. Everything was different when I was working from home. And he looks at you, he goes, okay, but will they be? Yeah, okay. Is that, uh, are you on TikTok? <laughs> and he's like, no. Then all of a sudden, he's like, you see why I fucking hate my boss, everybody? <laughs> he's always on my ass. <laughs> That's how kids are, right? When they're little, they're your boss. I was like, yeah, I say, dad, 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 mom, mom, mom. And you're like, what for? Why did you start talking before you started walking, bro? <laughs> I heard those laughs. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what my kids did. They talked quick. They were talented. And then, Angel, nine months old, here he had two teeth. <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine that? And then, you guys ready for this? Both these fools didn't give a fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're spicy bros. Spicy bros, they were. Those two guys, right, Mijo? Where's Damon? 
Am I lying? Spicy, huh, mijo? He's quiet over there because he's just like, like habanero, just <laughs> spicy. That fool makes that fool makes sure everything gets like me and Angel used to call him dad. <laughs> he's a responsible one. You guys thought it was me? <laughs> Charlie, I really grew up this year. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a worse example. I don't even know. These kids did so good. I don't even know where I went right. Oh. And they saw everything happen. They saw it all. Always honest. Always honest. Always honest. <laughs> and it wasn't me who taught them not to be jerks in this world. They taught me. Let's give those two guys a round of applause, man. <laughs> I almost say it took me like 42 and a half years to finally get it. Yeah. You know, I reached a point in my life where I was like, nah, you know, I'm already, I'm already 43. And I think it's time for me to like settle down, you know? What's so funny, man? I'm pouring my heart out here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Well, wait till you're done. Shit. That wasn't even the punchline. You made me forget the joke. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. All right, all right. He's Mr. Springer's gone too. This is about him. Now, they're the ones that taught me. They're the ones that taught me not to be a jerk, you know? Because I was a jerk. I was a jerk. I wasn't always a good dude. It kind of was, you know, like, like I wasn't a, just a cholo, you know what I mean? I wasn't just a cagapalo. I was also, I was educated. I graduated top of the 1998 Austin High School alternative program. I was the valedictorian. <laughs> Porque todo me valía. <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> but my kids weren't like that. They actually like graduated like, oh, wow. They didn't see alternative walls. One time they tried to put my Damien in alternative. In middle school, right here at Bassett, where they house all the Hondurans now. <laughs> It used to be Bassett Hounds, not Bassett Honduran. <laughs> right down the street. <laughs> I, I don't make this shit up. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> so, yeah. So, my kids, they grew up right there, you know? They're educated, you know? My Damien, they try to put him in alternative, and I look at him and I go, this kid plays first chair violin. Yep. Uh, do you guys know that about Damien? Oh, now you do. Yeah. And I say play first chair violin because he don't play it no more. Like, he's a DJ now. He's a badass DJ. He's dedicated himself. He's not just a DJ, but he's considered one of the best DJs in El Paso. I thought he was up here trying to get the sound going. He was like, what the fuck's going on here? But he's also an engineer student. Yeah. Who can do that, right? Who can do that? Everything this kid's been through, man. You know, he lost his brother this January, and he's still out there. Dando le shine, como dicen in Central. Round of applause to my Damien. I'm so proud of you, my son. I know he's sitting there and he's like, shut up. He don't like that attention. He don't like it. But I told him I was going to give it to you, fucker. <laughs> so you get for being a good kid, bro. All those good kids. They weren't really jerks. I swear to God, they weren't really jerks. They just stood up for what they wanted. Because who taught them that? Their mom. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. My beautiful Nancy, I swear. I swear. You guys don't believe me. You you will. Everything I'm saying here is truth. That's why we're filming it. We're recording it. Because I'm never saying the truth ever again. All my other shows down the line coming out there. You know. <laughs> Nancy, the only woman in my life, the only person in my life to knock me the fuck out. And she didn't even do it on purpose. She didn't. She didn't. She just pushed the button and the garage door hit me. That humbled me. That humbled me. After that, I was like, nah, I'm never standing under the garage door again. <laughs> Baby, where you at? I need you by my side always. Are you laughing, babe? Good. Kids were always honest with me, you know? They used to tell me when jokes suck. No? Here's a joke that they hated. You want to hear it? Fuckers, look at you. I said they hated it. You know? yeah. <laughs> I used to say, when I started coming, I used to say, oh, man, you got to be careful of the mistakes you make in your life, especially when you're young in high school. The biggest mistakes in your life come from high school. The two biggest mistakes that I made in high school, to this day, still call me dead. <laughs> My kids would get mad at that shit. They'd be like, hey, what the, he's dead. David's mad already. I know he's mad. I know he's mad. It's spicy like his mom. But, I mean, nothing we do is on purpose, right? You know, we go, hey, baby, I love you. Ooh, your eyes lock. How many, how many happy couples here tonight? All right. How many couples just act kind of hanging in Hopefully this comedy show will fix it. <laughs> but we all make mistakes, you know? We all make mistakes. Oh, like me, I made my mistakes. It wasn't my kids. My kids were the greatest thing I ever made, man. And then and it's not that they were a mistake, it's just that you didn't see that shit coming, you know? It's like, hey, hey, what's up? You're 15 years old. Hey, I'm pregnant. What? We didn't have texting. I couldn't be like, oh, WTF, LMAO, AF. You couldn't do that back then, you know? You just, oh, you just have to think. And you're thinking, like, oh, man, I got kids, and you're sitting in alternative, and you're like, fuck. Hey, coach, what? I have kids. People are like, oh, use the bathroom, bro. <laughs> There's a beer up there, bro. I, I stashed it. To all my coaches that gave me whiskey and alternative, thank you. They knew what I was going through. I'm just playing. They don't do that in the district anymore. Hey, how many people here got a drink in their hand? Yeah. Hey, cheers to Damien and Angels, everybody. My boys. My heart. My, the loves of my life. Life has to fall in order, you know? Like, for my life, it's always been, like, like God, the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Sorry, baby. My family? But you understand, right, baby? I'll talk to you later. It has to be in that order. It has to be in that order. It has to be in that order because God is God. Like, he made everything. You remember Cagapalos, you know? He made us, bro. We're here for a reason, bro. And it's awesome because all the Cagapalos, and I made awesome people, awesome kids. How many Cagapalos can say that? Are you like, no, 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 Charlie, mijo, no, 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 no. You're not going to be a gang member. There's only one gang member in this house, bro. And that's your mom. No, that's me. <laughs> People still tell Nancy, hey, I would miss with you at Chola. She's like, no, I'm just Mexican and I like eyeliner. 
Is it true you're from Central? Yes, I got your lemons. She's a teacher. She, she tells me straight up. She tells all of us, the three of us. Don't make me talk to you in my teacher voice. I can't imitate her. I'm saying it on my own because it's hers. Is her. Don't make me talk to you in my teacher voice. And then I look at her and I'm like, don't make me talk to you in my alternative voice. <laughs> you see, that's what the beautiful thing is about us. That was my point. I was an alternative dad. And my kids, they never went to alternative, you know. Fight for them. Dads that fight for their kids, what are they, you know? Pay that child support. That's part of the fight. Fuck you. <laughs> You tell John Cornyn you love your kids. <laughs> all the moms are laughing. See, all the dads are like, I came here to forget my problems, bro. <laughs> it's Father's Day, bro. You never forget your problems, bro. Yeah. Father's Day is like, hey, just like, find me a tie. But dad, you're not a banker. No, but I need it for child support court. Ooh. Moms, the son got us dropped the price. Be like, ah, oh, he's doing good, man. He's doing good. He's trying. He's not being a jerk. Guys, don't be jerks, wait. Ladies, right? Yes. Guys, right? We're going to say jerks because it's a family show. Replace jerk with any other sh word you want in your mind. We're going to be good to each other, you know? And sometimes you got to do it before you realize too late. Too late in life. I was a jerk recently to my angel in October. His birthday. His birthday. Got me drunk. I got drunk. I got drunk. I was a jerk to him. I was a jerk to him. And, and we argued and we shoved each other. We pushed each other a little bit. And God bless, he didn't kick my fucking ass. Because <laughs> our full bench press 316 pounds, son. How much? Three, 380. Somebody said it like 400 fucking pounds over there. Hey, he was John Cena in the past one, bro. Yeah. You got to be good to each other. You can't be jerks, because... Fuck, man. I was a jerk to him that day, man. But it opened my eyes up, man. You know, like, fuck, this book got kicked my ass. And he told his mom, Mom, oh, I'm going to fuck that up. And he said it very nicely and very honestly. An angel never lie. My sons never lie. I will fuck you up, Dad. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and it hurts me to say that. It hurts me to say that. I had to say that 15 times in the RV so that I wouldn't cry in front of you guys. But you guys can cry. Go ahead. Shut up. Quick. And it hurt me. It hurt me. It hurt me to think of that, you know? Because I didn't know that was going to be his last birthday. I didn't know that was going to be his last birthday. And I took it for granted. Because we see our kids. We see our parents. We see our loved ones every fucking day. And we say, ah. got you. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good, good morning. Right? Take it for granted. The one day, important day. Oh. And that, that haunts me every night since January. That was the last time I acted like a jerk, thank God. But it made me think. Can't be jerks to each other. You got your kids here today? Give yourselves a round of applause. If they're old enough to where you're all adults and shit, do it run. Give yourselves a round of applause. And we never know where we're going to go. 
Oh shit, that rhymed. Thank you, Rogelio. So don't be judged to each other. Always be good to each other. I don't care what. I don't care what. The manana. Hey, you want a king size hot dog from Chico's Tacos? <laughs> Chico's Tacos is good for you, by the way. It went back to the government cheese. That's what we used to in the 90s. That's what I raised my boys on. Government cheese. My sons knew when that government cheese was changed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, Dad, I'm pooping solid. What's up with this? (laughs) This is not the same cheese, bro. I don't feel cleansed. One of the little jokes I tell my kids, because my kids go to my shows, well, Angel would go more because Amy thinks I suck, but <laughs> he's right. <laughs> but he'll DJ when I pay him. So, and I use, I pay him because but he's only against me, people. But one time I did a show. Some dude recognized me in front of my kids. My kids are walking with me. Some dude walks up to me. He goes, hey, man. You're Jerry Carnes and Malcredo. Thanks, mom. Yay. <laughs> That's why I fucking know that lady. And look at her. I go, yeah, bro. What's up? You know, chuck in, hug, you know. What's up, bro? What's up? You recognize me? Bro? He goes, yeah, bro. I've been to your shows. And you suck. <laughs> what? It's like, wow, bro. You know, I got a little teary eye. No, not in my throat. Like, wow, bro, you really have been to my shows, bro. What can I do for you, bro? What can I do for you? And, you know, it's reaching into my pockets. He's like, hey, bro, you got some change? Like, I go, e, bro, I can ask you the same thing. <laughs> Thank you guys <laughs> for recognizing me on the street. Putting some change in my pocket, man. Thank you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Uh, you guys are wondering. Ah, oh, it's so dark. Huh? The rattlesnakes. <laughs> We're from Central. If their arm will make boots. You guys have been so awesome. So very, I'm so thankful for you all. Thank you all so very much, everybody. You know, without you guys, I couldn't do this. This was not my idea, by the way. This wasn't my idea. This was my angel's idea. I know the banners were over there because of the wind. I'm sorry you can't see it. We'll move it up. Don't worry. Awesome. They're awesome since they were babies. They're awesome. So it's a very bearded day because they both are so bearded. They're not lazy, they're just geniuses, you know? They don't shave. Why are they going to shave? They can just trim. Geniuses, though. But. Without these two guys, because they're my dudes, you know? Without these guys, I won't be the man I am right here in front of you guys standing at the spotlight, you know? I'm not funny, you guys know that. We have it on film, you'll prove it, don't worry. We'll dub in the last when it's quiet. Oh, voiceover, don't worry, we'll fix that. The ones that made me awesome or, or whatever, strong enough to be here in front of you guys, is my Damien and my angel. They're the strength, they're my heart. I always wanted to be this comic that would travel, you know, and, and take my kids and my wife with me, and that didn't happen. I mean, I traveled, you know, I toured east and west El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> be surprised how much gas you burn in this town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's hills. You didn't see it. But the man I am right now is them. 
those boys, you know, trust me. Sometimes these boys would tell mom to kick him out, mommy. <laughs> those angels would say that. Right, babe? He'd hug her. He'd say, ah, oh, mom, kick him out, mom. <laughs> and then he'd look at me. I knew the fucker was serious. I'd be like, babe, he's just playing. Buy some flowers or wash dishes. Load the dishwasher, right? Bro? No? So I'm the man I am. I'm lucky that they liked me. I don't care if you guys don't like me. They like me. So that means the world to me. They're the only opinion that matters in my life. And I'm going to tell you guys right now. My wife, she tells me something straight up. Like these days, she tells me something. Before I used to argue. Uh -huh. Now she tells me something. I just straight up look at her in the eyes. I'm like, okay, I believe you. <laughs> it works, guys. Just fucking do it. <laughs> do it. If not, your kids can get you kicked out. And if you don't have an amazing relationship with your kids, guess what? What happens? What happens if you get old? The mandan al valedictorian. <laughs> be good to your kids. Be good to your parents. Kids, any kids here today? Yeah. yeah. I, I, everybody, I, we're all kids. <laughs> we're all children at heart, right? That's why, so we gotta be cool to each other. Be, not be what? Yes. Hey, I'm trying to do a family show. <laughs> not be jerks. Yeah, don't jerk each other off. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Don't jerk each other's chains, you know? <laughs> Say what you mean and do it, right? right? And then your kids don't hate you because they see you doing. What you mean, and then doing it. And then they're like, oh, that's how you do it. Because you're sitting there, you're like, hi, was my kid a jerk? I mean, they usually learn from the first people they lay their eyes on at birth. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, like, straight up, like, we love family. And my Damien, my angel, I'm going to leave you guys off with this. This is my last joke. This is something that we believed in. Yes, we're all in this world together. Got to help each other out. And sometimes we got to cut some people off, keep them at a distance or whatever. But we got to be there for each other at the right times. At the right times. So, with that said, please don't invite me to your baby showers. <laughs> don't invite me to your baby showers. Be responsible. I shouldn't have to pay and help you buy infamil and tubs and swings and cradles and expensive, very expensive car seats that you put in your registry. I don't care what the registry If I wasn't there for the conception, I want to make you to the baby shower. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an awesome crowd. Thank you all so very much for letting me pour my heart out to you guys. Couldn't do this without you. Cheers, folks. Hold on, Cheers. Baby. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers to my Damien, to my angel, everybody. I'm not doing it You know, I'm, my son's passed. I never talk about him in the past tense. I know he's not here with us right now. We all do. We all do. But he's here with us right now. He's the one keeping that light going because Mad Street Barbecue had to turn up the lights. <laughs> Thank you, brothers and sisters. 
and everything in between. I don't know. I'm trying to be well. <laughs> but every day, every day, every day goes through my head. I worry about my kids every day, both of them. I still live for both of them. I still roses every day, candles every day for my angel. Damien every day, you know, light, water, food, bills, everything still goes for that, you know. <laughs> but we live every day. And while I got them at home, I still wonder every day. Where is my angel? What is he doing? And I was think I was thinking that me and Damon were thinking that the other day. What is he doing? What is he doing right now? And you know what played? You know what song came on? Frog Mansion from Tupac. <laughs> Frog Mansion from Tupac. So I was like, oh man. So when this fool isn't a bouncer at the gates of heaven, because he's a bouncer, you saw him. 400 pounds, he bench pressed. My nose doesn't even weigh that much. That's a big nose. <laughs> he does that during the day, and he had time for everybody. Had time for everybody. So at night, he bounces at Thug Munch. Okay. And hopefully, one day this guy got stick. We'll get to get kicked out by Thug and Thug Mansion by him too. Those are yeah, tournaments, that's my time. Thank you so very much. Mansion. Oh.